and tell Jeremy Corbyn enough is enough, we're not going to take it anymore. My name's Ewan Phillips, uh, I've been, I was a, well, I still am, I'm saying, still am a Labour member, but joined the party in 1996 when I was, uh, when I was 18 years old and uh, I was a member of the sit member of my local CLP, I was chair of my CLP, I was committed to Labour, I was committed to Labour values, decency, equality, solidarity, fighting racism and that was, that was the core of what I believed and it's the core of what has been betrayed. In the last two years, Labour against anti-Semitism has waded through the very depths of the Labour Party. We've been to the Labour Party Facebook forums, we've tangled with the likes of Tony Greenstein, Mike Cushman, all the other anti-Semites, make up Jewish Voice for Labour and all the rest of them. We've tangled with them on Twitter and we've taken them down and we'll carry on taking them down. How well is Labour handling its anti-Semitism crisis? And I say it's a crisis, it's a disaster. But I call it a crisis. I'll tell you how bad it's doing. Really, 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 really badly. It's an absolute disgrace. Two years ago when we started, we thought it would be an easy, simple, clean, clearing out progress process. We take down a few of the worst, worst individuals, the worst cases. We send them into compliance. Compliance would do their job and a couple of months later they'll be expelled. Two years later, many of those people are still Labour members, and that's not good enough. Since we set up two years ago, we painstakingly draw together evidence of over 1,200 Labour members posting anti-Semitic content online, promoting anti-Semitic prejudice, and we've supplied that to the compliance unit. We've supplied the evidence, we've supplied screenshots, We've supplied details of, this, of the CLP, and what has, ha what has happened, nothing's happened. There's a few high-profile suspensions, but there hasn't been the expulsions that there should have been. There hasn't been a strong message from the leadership that anti-Semitism wasn't accepted, and now we know why. Because Margaret Hodge said what we all thought the other night, and she said that Jeremy Corbyn is a racist and an anti-Semite, and that's exactly what he is. The shift that we saw on Tuesday from the NEC, basically telling the Jewish community in this country that they had a better idea of what anti-Semitism than they did, it's just, it's just the latest step on a process that has been taking place over the last two years. Members that we've reported, we're told that they weren't members, even though we've got evidence of them with showing their Labour membership cards or attending CLP events. We reported someone who was a sitting Labour councillor and we were told that they weren't a member and that the investigation had been dropped. We had to take that to the media and we got it pushed in the media and that person got suspended. But what we used in our reporting was the IHRA and those four examples which have been taken out, they were core to how we, used, how we would show anti-Semitic intent anti-Semitic prejudice from thousands of Labour members because those four examples are key to left-wing anti-Semitism in this part in this country and anti-Semitism in the Labour Party and we know why it has been taken out they're trying to shift the goalposts again they're trying to make it easier for anti-Semites to stay in the party people like Seamus Mill People like Jackie Walker and people like Jeremy Corbyn who are only interested in demonising Israel because they come from a place which is dark and which is disgusting and which is racist. Hey! 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 